Some of the other trends that we're witnessing is more globalization. We have to have a very broad focus and look how this is going to affect everybody. That the state of California is going to face a $53 billion budget shortfall. Everything that gets connected to the California state budget is going to be impacted. Somebody was just, you know, getting started in uh, to, to be an influencer, a media influencer, social media, maybe, you know, like a 14, 18 year old version of you two ladies. What would you tell them to do? I mean, what is the best way to go about creating a presence uh, in social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, etc.? And then, you know, how did maybe give us a couple examples of how somebody can actually make money in that industry? Well, I think it's always important to um, to always be realistic about your goals. Um, to always think about that. There are so many people out there. And when you look at how many people are on YouTube, the chances of somebody being the next, um, the next Markiplier, I mean, the chances of that are so slim, but as long as you're passionate, I mean, ultimately that's what it boils down to. You, you have to be loving what you're doing. You have to be passionate about it. At the end of the day, that's ultimately what it's about. The people that continue to do something, they're doing it because they love it. If they were tired of it and they didn't love it, they wouldn't be continuing doing it. There's people that have hit huge success and then their channels go dark. And it's because they hit success and they get all of these subscribers and they get burnt out really quickly. And it's because they, they get this little taste of success and then they just get burnt out. The drive isn't there anymore. So I think if you have realistic goals and you set out a game plan at first, don't try to emulate what somebody else is doing. What worked out for them probably isn't going to work out for you. You can't imitate what somebody else did. It's just, it's just not realistic. You can be inspired by somebody. There's nothing wrong with that. But what their, what their path is isn't going to be your path. And Casey, I think that, yes, that's inspiring for me because you, I was an entrepreneurship major. You sound like all those people in school and that are starting out. You sound like a business person, an entrepreneur. You're just doing what you love and it happened to create value out there. I think that's really neat. Thank you. Thank you. And, and when I started this, it, it was never something that I thought that I would be doing so many years later. It was just like, Hey, this is something that I'm having fun with and maybe, maybe somebody will like it, you know, I'll throw it out there and maybe someone will think it's cool. And it was really just something that I did for fun and, and, um, you know, and it brings me joy at the end of the day. That's ultimately what it's about. I mean, I always said if, if one person, if it brings them joy, then it's rewarding for me. That's, that's ultimately what it's about. If it's, if it brings you joy and it brings even just one other person joy, then it's a win. That's Sarah, same question. Sarah, same question to you as Casey just answered. Say somebody's starting off or somebody wants to do something in the world of social media. By the way, my weakness is I uh, just bought a new house last year. So I go on YouTube and I look at a lot of DIY do-it-yourself projects. And the number of channels of, of guys and gals doing DIY projects, all the way from yard work to uh, arts and crafts, uh, it's just immense. And I, I always wondered, how do some of these folks make money? I mean, I see that there are some sponsorships sometimes from, you know, uh, be, uh, from manufacturers who have something they want to sell. They might connect with a certain artist. Uh, but, you know, if you, if you were getting started in that space all over again, what would you, how would you tell somebody to get started? Oh, man. I think, sorry, my light fell. I knocked it over. I kicked it on accident when I knew all you were talking, so I apologize. But I think, I think you have to be authentic. You have to be yourself. People can see through, uh, through if it's not, if you're not being real. And I think that, um, like, it's one thing, it, like, Casey has her character, but that's who she is. She just amped it up. You know what I mean? She just magnified it. And I think that that's kind of what it is. It's finding where, finding your niche, finding things that you love, things that you're passionate about, things that you are good at, and then finding a way to market that. Um, as far as making money at it, it's hard. It's like Casey said, there are 
so many people doing exactly what you do and you have to be the best at it or, you know, or have some, some sort of niche thing about you. And, but, but you can get paid and it's about knowing your worth and making sure that you, that you demand, not, I mean, demand your worth. Like you have to know, you have to know what you're capable of and you have to put the right price tag on it. So when it comes to getting sponsorships, I know so many people that are starting out, you know, I, I do, I get that question a lot. Like, how do I become an influencer? How do I do what you're doing? And I know so many people that start doing free trades and, um, you know, clothing companies will say, Hey, can I send you this in exchange for a post? And that's a great way to start, but you have to know at what point to start saying, you know what? Yes, I would love to do that for you, but this is my small fee so that, you know, I'm scratching your back and giving you this, you know, this promotion. 